I still think Loma is... First of all, I, I don't miss any of his fights. I love watching him fight. Uh, he's he's a very... I wouldn't even say exciting. He's a very satisfying boxer to watch. Especially from a boxer's point of view. He's just so technical. I love watching him fight. Learning out for him. Uh, I would love to see him in with, with anybody. Literally anybody. Yeah. Would you favor Devin? Would you favor Loma? Like, how, who would you favor? I would favor Loma. You know, he has a, he has a, a lot of experience. I don't know if uh, Devin necessarily has the power to keep him off. And I feel like Loma, just, he's just fundamentally better. Yeah. What about Shakur? A lot of people are like... That's, like that's, that's a tough one. That, yeah. that, that is a tough one to, to, to pick right there. I don't know. Uh, they both come from lower weight divisions. Uh, so I really I really don't know. I couldn't pick on that one. That's a tough one. That one's a tough one. What's good, Just Do Family? It's your boy, KB. And I'm back with another one, man. If this is your first time on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon and put them notifications on all so you can be notified when I drop this new content. As your boy, if y'all didn't know, your boy Just is going full time with this content creating space. So I'm going full steam ahead, all gas, no brakes. I'm on the road to 10K, man. So tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that bell icon, like I said, share these videos, man, so I can reach as many boxing fans as possible, man. We on our way to 10K, like I said, so let's get it, man. Let's get right into this video. So, man, what y'all just heard was, you know, the undefeated welterweight contender Virgil Ortiz Jr. give his take on a potential fight between Lomachenko, Devin Haney, and Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. And I thought some of the things he said in the video was very interesting. So you know your boy Just had to come give his Just Do on it, man. So you know when he was asked about, you know, how he think a potential fight between Devin Haney and Lomachenko would go, you know, he 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 alluded to, you know, Devin Haney is skilled and he gave Loma his credit as well, but he just said he felt like Loma is a very satisfying boxer to watch and you know he's uh he's just so technically good that he he sees Lomachenko beating a Devin Haney and I thought that was uh interesting nonetheless you know because you know it's been a lot of talks and the talks has been that once Cambosis and Devin Haney get this rematch over and done with and a lot of people people are picking Devin Haney to win again rightfully so as he pitched a, a shutout in my opinion 12 zip in the first fight you know, a lot of people are saying Lomachenko is at the back end and that the deal is already set and in place for Lomachenko and Devin Haney to fight after the Cambosis rematch, given that, you know, Devin Haney, of course, handles business and beats Cambosis for a second time. And, you know, he, you know, I don't have no problem with the way he, you know, broke down, you know, how he think a potential fight would play out or who he felt would win. But I thought it was also interesting when he was asked, you know, who do you think? Well, went out of Shakur Stevenson and Vasil Lomachenko. And he said, you know, he don't know. He said, that's tough right there. That's tough right there. So, you know, that's that's a that's a tough fight. He said, you know, pretty much alluding that he don't know who could who would win out of out of Shakur Stevenson and Vasil Lomachenko. He said he couldn't pick. But when it came to Vasil Lomachenko and the Devin Haney, he went on to say that, you know, flat out pretty much he's picking Vasil Lomachenko to beat Devin Haney. And um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I, I I can understand his point of view. It's all good. You know, opinions are opinions. Everybody got one. You know, it's all our opinion until they actually get in the ring. And uh, I think that would definitely be a difficult fight for Devin Haney. But it also would be a difficult fight for Vasil Lomachenko. And I also think it's a true 50-50 fight. And it's a fight that Devin Haney could win despite what some people may think you know Virgil Ortiz alluded to Devin Haney's lack of power and not being able to keep Lomachenko off of him I don't think Lomachenko has the kind of style that you know the kind of pressure style where he would have to keep Lomachenko off of him but I think Devin Haney has the height the length you know and the skill set the IQ he has the feet to be able to box Lomachenko and make things very difficult for him on the outside, you know, and then once he gets to mid to close range, you know, that might be a different story. I see the fight being a lot more difficult for Devin Haney because he hasn't shown, you know, a willingness to really fight in the inside. You know, usually once the fight gets in close, he usually ties up and then he reset or allow the ref to break up. Like if Lomachenko gave Teofimo all he could handle and Teofimo didn't look good against him, so... 
you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure they put Lomachenko against him just to see how he would look as opposed to how Teofimo looked. Now, much credit and much respect to Loma. He was showboating and his arrogance led to him, in my honest opinion, not getting a stoppage. He was begging for, you know, the, you know, uh, Richard Comey's trainer to stop the fight, which I think was very arrogant to say the least. But when it's Lomachenko, they praise things like that for some odd reason. But he handled business against Nakatani and Richard Comey. And then he went to defend his country in the war, you know, but those, if you, in my honest opinion, those guys were similar in skill sets, slow feet, you know, punching power, limited boxing ability, but they, but good fighters nonetheless, you know what I mean? But he, he beat both of them. To me, they were very similar in skill set. Those were both tune-ups in my opinion, because neither of those guys was pegged to beat them. And then you turn around. Now he's fighting Jermaine Ortiz, October 29th, which is out of their words, He's another tune-up, and to my to my understanding, like I say, or in my opinion, if he was as good as they made it seem, he wouldn't need his third tune-up in a row. This is going to be his third tune-up, and even Devin Haney has something to say about that. You know, he has some choice words about the tune-up, and he didn't agree with it. He pretty much felt like, you know what I mean, this guy should need a tune-up, but nonetheless, that's where we at. October 29th, you got Vasil Lomachenko versus, you know, uh, Jermaine Ortiz, who's undefeated, like I said, and I expect Lomachenko to win that fight. And like I said, I think him and Devin Haney are next after, you know, Cambosis takes his L because there's no doubt in my mind that, you know, Haney is, you know, he's going to win this fight and he's going to win the rematch very impressively. He might win it more impressively than he did the first time, but that remains to be seen. We, we're going to have to wait and see. And that's why we had these fights. So October 15th, this weekend is going to be a big day of boxing, you know, and, um, as far as Shakur Stevenson, we all know he's coming off a, 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 a complete dominant performance, you know, over uh, Robson Kinsasia, where he pretty much didn't lose a round. And a lot of people cr criticize his performance, and I understand he missed weight and he held himself accountable like a real fighter who's supposed to. But nonetheless, uh, Robson Kinsasia just didn't stand a chance. I mean, he was beat up from the opening bell to the last bell, and he was hurt. I think on a couple different occasions with body shots and Shakur just showed a willingness to want to step forward and press on the gas and try to be exciting and you know he did go for the knockout but in doing so he just didn't get it you know I think he 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 should have set his shots up a bit slowed down just a bit changed the speed up on some of the punches but that's something he could learn learn and pick up on he's gonna learn from it you know he did go outside himself to get the stoppage so I thought that was very impressive and you know he pretty much pitched a shutout and you know a fight between him and Lomachenko no doubt in my mind would would be one of the best fights that we could have at 135 pounds Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson or Lomachenko and Devin Adrian Haney, Haney who's undisputed right now so let me know if I gave these boys they just do because that's what I do over here just do boxing and to the next from my family I'm out peace